All right, this is something that has you know touched a lot of people around the world. Who knows about this, you know, horrific incident or whatever you may call it. I really don't know anything about what actually happened yet because this would be my first time hearing it. I'm just, you know, giving notice to this. Like, I, I'm just reading about it. And the reason I want to talk about this because my girlfriend is a teacher. She's a, and that would be a scary situation for anyone regardless of the student's age from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade it doesn't matter and this is sad to even hear that a six-year-old brought a gun to school allegedly brought a gun I don't know that's why I'm gonna use that word because I'm not like I said I don't know the facts yet I haven't heard anything yet but I know there's something that I wanted to talk about on my channel because that's something that a lot of people need to hear. A lot of people ignore this type of shit because they figure, oh, it ain't happening to me. So why should I care? You should care. Everyone should care. For one, it's a six-year-old. Well, a six. I don't know if it's sixth grade or six-year-old. Like I say, I'm not really sure. I believe it's a six-year-old. And anything could have happened. You know anything could have happened with that six-year-old I'm happy nothing happened to the teacher or anyone else that was around that student and especially and that student as well but you've seen a lot of dumb things happen with people with guns and weapons and shit but I'm ready to get up in this get into this and see what this is all about but like I say this is serious stuff and sometimes I tell you I talk about things like this because a lot of youtubers will not they're afraid of losing subscribers or their channel being boring or people not watching their their channel I don't care these things that we need to talk about sometimes and need to react to so let's jump in this and see what this is all about I believe this is the teacher or the lawyer giving a news I don't know let's check this out it said lawyer for Virginia teacher allegedly shot by a six-year-old student holds briefing so is this the lawyer Let's see what this is all about, y'all. Abby Zorner is the best of us. Optimistic, dedicated, and caring elementary school teacher who endured the unthinkable, being shot purposely by a six-year-old student in front of her first grade class while teaching. Mm. I have been with Abby twice since she left the hospital and I communicate with her daily. I can report to you that she is home recovering and gaining strength every day. We are grateful for the outpouring of support that Abby has received from teachers, students, and parents in this community and across the country. But the road to full recovery will be long. And as her physical condition improves, the psychological wounds cut deeply and remain fresh and the psychological scars will be lasting. I admire Abby's courage and her unwavering care for her students, their education and their health and welfare. And we want to thank all the teachers in Newport News. How in the fuck did a six year old get a weapon? Like a six year old. Like, these teachers, what, y'all don't check their fucking bags? Like, don't they supposed to bring, like, snacks or lunches or whatever to school? Like, uh. I don't know, man. This shit is just crazy. A six-year-old. Six. Purposely shot a teacher. Still trying to. Uh, how the fuck did a six year old get a weapon? Get it out his. his Sacrifice 
each day and strive to provide a safe and healthy educational environment to their students. We especially want to thank Abby's fellow teachers at Rich Neck Elementary, who unfortunately are living this nightmare along with her. These teachers are selfless. One teacher even went into the classroom after Abby was shot and restrained the shooter until police arrived. Restrain the six year old six year old i mean i get it i really do i feel so bad you know what happened to the teacher thank god that she's alive but it's a six year old restrain the six year old the kid Other teachers at Rich Neck Elementary School tried to do the right thing on January 6th, the day of the shooting. On that day, over the course of a few hours, three different times, three times, school administration was warned by concerned teachers and employees that the boy had a gun on him at the school. Wait a minute. And was threatening people. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me get this straight. Three times they so they suspected that this boy had a gun, a six year old, and they were what afraid to check his bag? Why could they were afraid of the student? Afraid of a six year old? If they thought that this six year old child was carrying any weapon, period, I do not care about no goddamn rules. I don't care about you shouldn't search a person unless you know 100% sure that they have something on. No, fuck that. It's a six year old. Grab that damn bag, check that damn bag. If you suspect a six-year-old has any type of weapon, grab that six-year-old, get that damn bag. I'm sorry. I know I'm a motherfucker's gonna come at my throat in the comment section. I do not care. Yeah, yeah, a gun is a gun. They don't have a name on it. I get all bullets don't have a name on it. I get all that shit. If they suspected that shit before this boy decided to do that, they should approach that damn boy, grab that damn bag, wherever he had that gun at. And took the shit. He's six years old. What are they afraid of? A lawsuit? Or are they just afraid? That's the problem with these teachers. These though, they're so afraid of these goddamn students. It's a six-year-old. Come on, man. Thank God. Like I say, thank God. The lady is alive. Thank God no one else got hurt, especially since all this shooting has been going on, you know, the last few years at these schools and shit. Innocent people have been dying in the hands of these grown-up teenagers or grown-up adults going to schools and shooting. But this is a six-year-old. They had the opportunity to stop this shit from happening. I know I don't know all the details, but if they knew, if they had a possibility, like if they knew at all, and she just submitted that three damn times. You mean to tell me not one of those times they decided to grab this boy, search, do whatever? Come on, man. Fuck the parents. Fuck all that. Fuck worrying about being in trouble. Are you worried about your, you worried, like you worried about the parents snapping on you or your life? That's a problem with today's world. They so afraid. It wasn't like this back in the day. I'm telling you, that kid would have got hemmed up. That shit is crazy, man. That shit pisses me off for real. That's that's crazy. But the administration could not be bothered. This tragedy was intense. They all need to fucking be fired. All of them. 
they knew it. they all need to be fucking fired. I'm sorry, I do not care, cause that situation could have been a lot more worse, because they decided not to do any fucking thing until the shit happened. Entirely preventable if the school administrators responsible for school safety had done their part and taken action when they had knowledge of imminent danger. But instead, they failed. If they didn't want to do anything, call the fucking cops. Bring the cops in. But like I said, they was probably worried about, you know, if they would have checked this young man, this kid, and he didn't have nothing, then the parents could have sued the school. Shit like that. I know that's what the fuck they were worried about. But now look. An innocent teacher's land up in a hospital because of their negligence. Failed to act and Abby was shot. When the first incident of the day happened, at around 11.15 to 11.30 a.m., Abby went to a school administrator, as was protocol, to tell them that the six-year-old had threatened to beat up another child that same day. But the school administration could not be bothered. Mm. Mm. They didn't call security. They didn't remove the student from the classroom. The school administration failed to act. Later on, around 12.30 p.m., when another teacher went to a school administrator, as was protocol, and told the administrator that she, the teacher, took it upon herself to search the book bag of the boy that was suspected to have brought the gun to school. The teacher then tells that same administrator that she believes the boy put the gun in his pocket before going outside for recess. But the administration could not be bothered. The administrator downplayed the report from the teacher and the possibility of a gun, saying, and I quote, well, he has little pockets. This is outrageous. Given the opportunity to call the police over a report of a potentially armed student, the school administrator failed to act and protect the school. Shortly after 1 p.m., when a third teacher tells administrators of another boy who is crying and fearful that... So, you mean to tell me... Okay, I get it. A teacher responsible to go to administrators and they supposed to handle the situation. Man, fuck that. Three teachers, y'all should have just took matters into your own goddamn hands. That could be me. I'm just gonna lose my motherfucking job or my teacher's license. If I think a motherfucking kid has a weapon before the shit happens, like before he pulls it out or anything like that, I'm searching. I'm searching that damn kid and I'm searching that bag. I don't care. Suspend my license. Fire me. My life is way more important. Three of them damn teachers and they waited for an administrator? Hold on for a second. Hold on. Hold on.
I'm sorry, y'all, but I had to go ask my girl, because like I said, she's a teacher. But this shit is pissing me off right now, for real. He bravely confesses to his teacher that the perpetrator showed him the gun at recess and threatened to shoot him if he told anybody. Wait a minute, what? Teacher that the perpetrator showed tells administrators of another boy who is crying and fearful. That he bravely confesses to his teacher that the perpetrator showed him the gun at recess and threatened to shoot him if he told anybody. One more time. Hold on, I gotta go ask my girl something again because like I say, she's a teacher. What did administrators Let me pause do? This. This shit got me mad as fuck, man. This shit got me mad. Sorry for all the cursing, y'all. This shit got me mad. Dumbass lawyer. Call the police. No. Did administrators lock down the school? No. Did the administrators evacuate the building? No. Did they confront the students? It ain't entirely the administrator's fault. If these goddamn teachers knew about it, and he's six years old, I'm not a teacher, but I know you probably can't do that to a high school student. Just check them. But if these fucking teachers knew this shit, fuck waiting for the administration. They should have grabbed that damn boy, checked that boy, grabbed his bag right away. Right away. So, you know what? Y'all can say what y'all want in the comments. I already know. Three damn teachers knew about this boy. They should have grabbed his ass. They allowed this to happen. Going to the administration. Come on. If the administration ain't do nothing, take it into your own hands. He's six years old. And you know, I don't want to hear all that sorry shit in the comments, y'all. I don't. If you don't know what really happened, that boy could have shot. No, this is before all that happened. Before he decided to shoot that teacher. They should have apprehended that damn boy, searched that boy, got that bag. If they thought anything, he's six years old. When a fourth employee who heard fourth. the danger asked the administrator for permission to search the boy. They really putting all this on that administrator. They putting it all on that administrator. Yes. The administration, everyone in that administration, whatever you want to call it, should be fired. But those teachers should have did something. He was denied. He was told to wait the situation out because the school day was almost over. Let that sink in. Tragically, almost an hour later, Violence struck Rich Elementary School. So, a whole hour that these teachers knew about this shit. A whole hour. Well, it was more than, it said, she said an hour later. 
So ever since that boy came, like when they first, when school first started, you know, and these teachers, oh my God. Maybe I shouldn't be drinking coffee right now. Abby Zorner was shot in front of those horrified kids and the school and community are living the nightmare. All because the school administration <laughs> failed to act. It ain't, I'm not if laughing. If they not so paralyzed I'm, by apathy, they could have prevented this tragedy. This morning, I sent notice to the Newport News School Board of the intent to file a lawsuit on Abby's behalf. This should have never happened. It was preventable. And thank God Abby is alive. But had the school administrators acted in the interest of their teachers and their students, Abby would not have sustained a gunshot wound to the chest. I got a feeling the principal is gonna quit. The school administration, everyone in that administration is probably gonna end up quitting because they're never gonna hear the end of it from people who actually know who they are they probably just need to quit get the fuck up out of there for real because they did fuck up that's it's their responsibility to call the police or whatever take that boy it is but it, those teachers should have did something about it a bullet that remains dangerous, dangerous. i'm just happy that the teacher is okay i i'm truly i'm happy that no kids were shot nor the staff were shot I, I'm truly, truly sorry for that teacher. Thank God she's okay. I see that she's suing now. So we already knew it was coming to that. But the teachers are at fault too. Fuck that. They are. Seriously, inside her body. Three weeks ago, Abby was a cheery young woman with a big heart and loved educating young people. She had a very bright future and a career she loved. Today, she's been surgeries and physical therapy appointments with a career in question. How could anyone find the courage to confidently face a class of students again? I hope the Newport News School District will do the right thing and everyone should pay close attention to their response because will they send a message that teachers are expendable? That this is just a hazard of the job if you teach Newport News? Their response will hover over this community and this school district for decades. And since they can't roll back time and undo the callousness of the bureaucracy, they can do the right thing and admit what went wrong and fix it and take care of Abby now. Thank you. I don't really want to say anything else about this because I'm just heated right now. I already know if people actually watch this and see my reaction, I'm gonna get you know a lot of negative and positive comments in which you know bring it on. Because yes, it is the administration fault, but it's also those damn teachers' fault as well. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think. And as always, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm out.